Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. Today we have a special project and it's very special to my heart is because I, the last couple of years, I've been collecting black sand from Gold Canyon in Dayton, Nevada. And it was in Dayton, Nevada, where they first discovered gold here. And actually, the spots that I've been to for the past couple of years have been within about a quarter mile, half a mile from the exact location from where they first discovered gold in Gold Canyon. And we're going to take the black sand that I have collected over the years, and we're going going to use some aqua regia and some SMB and we're going to extract the uh, gold dust because there's a lot of micro gold dust in the black sand and let's get to it. You can see some black sand down inside of it but I don't see any gold. At least not yet. There it is. I see some gold. It's coming up. I don't know if you could see it right there. Just keep cleaning it. There we go. You can see all that fine gold that's inside the black sand. I have been letting all that settle inside the, tr the tray that catches the material. I will snuff it up. And then when I have plenty of this material saved up, I do have some mercury and I am going to capture this gold either with the mercury or I will capture it and smelting it. Today I have three separate gold pans that I have my gold dust in with my black sand and we're going to kind of clean it out. We're going to combine them and then we're going to use our aqua regia and some SMB to extract our gold from this black sand and let's get to it. Here is our black sand that we had cleaned out and we are going to add in some hydrochloric acid to remove the base metals and I got my fan going to keep myself safe. I am wearing my respirator and my safety glasses and you should too. I'm bringing up my hydrochloric acid to a boil and I'm going to let it boil for 45 minutes to get it clean and then we will give it a good rinse. As you have probably noticed, I did replace my Pyrex dish for a metal pan because it's pretty cold outside and I, it's, I've been having a difficult time getting this to a boil and I didn't want the glass to shatter and I know with a metal pan it's not going to shatter. So let's keep boiling. Let's begin the rinsing process and what we're going to do, we're going to add in some distilled water and we will bring it to a boil and clean out this material and we're going to do that twice and then we will add in some more hydrochloric acid and perform a second wash. In this video, I am only going to show you with the first rinse and I'm not going to show you the second one because it kind of gets redundant and I didn't want to waste your time, but we did do two rinses in this process before we added hydrochloric acid. We are performing our second wash and I am adding in 100 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. We did bring it to a boil and we let it boil for 45 minutes.
I'm not sure what that material is that is being poured out, but what I did do is that once this material settled in my wash beaker, I poured the solution out and I got this material back into this beaker with the rest of the material. Now we will perform the first wash. Let's decant this first wash and what we're going to do for this video, we're going to bypass the second wash and not show it, but we will show the third wash. We will now add in our 100 milliliters of nitric acid for our nitric acid wash. We will pour our nitric acid into this flask and we will use this solution for another project. Now we will give this a good rinse. And this is rinse number two. And now we will make our aquaregia and I'm putting in about 75 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And now I will add in two milliliters of nitric acid and we will add more nitric acid in this solution should we need it. Let's filter out our aquaregia. Now we will add in our sulfamic acid to neutralize or denox our nitric acid in our aquaregia solution. Now we will filter our aquaregia.
Now we will drop our Gold Canyon Gold with some SMB. And yes, I noticed that my beaker is pretty full and I did break a 500 milliliter beaker before I started this project, but I have three 500 milliliter beakers on order right now. It is now the following day and our solution has set overnight and this is the Gold Canyon Gold that has dropped overnight. We are decanting our rinse. I forgot to start the camera when I poured in the distilled water to start this rinse. Now we will do our hydrochloric rinse to clean up our gold. Now we will perform our final rinse with some distilled water. We did get our Gold Canyon Gold out of the beaker and into this dish. We got it dried out and now we're going to weigh it up. And we have point. 225224 of a gram. We have our gold inside the furnace cooking. Let's see what's going to happen. Here is our Gold Canyon Gold, and we got <laughs> actually two little beads, and let's go weigh them up. Up first is the little bead, and it weighs 0 .007. Our larger bead weighs 0 .131 of a gram, and so both beads together weighs 0.138 of a gram from Gold Canyon. Well, this wraps up this episode of getting our gold out of our black sand from Gold Canyon, Nevada. We got 0.131 and 0.007 on our scale. And so we got just about 1.4 grams of gold out of this black sand. And I'm, I'm just enthused and excited about it because I didn't think... Uh, what I was going to get. And anyhow, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. And if you enjoyed this episode, smash that like button, share this on your channel so others can enjoy the experience. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would like to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family. We would love to have you in our family. We are so thankful that you're here. We're thankful for your support and we are grateful for each of you and we will We'll see you on the next one.